Well, hello and a welcome. This is Nate, and I'd like to say thanks for clicking on the video. And I've got this really nice home called the Belterra. Literally a home just left, one of the tiny homes. They just hauled it right on out of here. So anyway, as I was stating, so this is the Belterra, part of the Fiesta series by Palm Harbor. This is a 1,860 square foot, two bedroom, two bath home. And let me just tell you, it is super nice. Extra large walk-in pantry, great big kitchen, dining room area. You've got uh, your master bedroom or primary bedroom is extra large. The bathroom, oh, you're going to want to stick around for that. Only downside there's no there's no tub so I think this is a play off of a song it says she thinks she thinks my trailer's sexy but I think the song is supposed to be she thinks my tractor's sexy how's that go she thinks my trailer's sexy <laughs> I shouldn't sing I know I'm bad I'm horrible anyway <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so let's get the backside and then let's head on in. But in case you're wondering, this is at Palm Harbor Homes in Oklahoma City. So now I got to go inside and redeem myself. Y'all are like, who is this weirdo? <laughs> so not a lot to show on this side. We'll start with the tray ceiling. Really nice blue accent. And they've used that throughout a lot of this home, that blue access paint. Looks really good. And I tell you what, it's nice and cool in here, so this is gonna be a long one, just so I can cool off a little bit. I filmed three of them that didn't have the AC on, and with it being over 90 degrees outside, they were hot. So I want to point out, you got some real nice flooring in this one. So we've got the electric fireplace at this end of the living room. Then they've got this, it's kind of a Formica but uh, not sure what you would call it as far as the, the look of it. Because it almost looks like it's supposed to be, you know, like discolored steel or something like that. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think of it or what color should I call this stuff. No, well, let's just, we'll skip to the kitchen. You got to tease. We're going to come right here. <laughs> I told you this was an extra large main bedroom. See, I even left the doors open in there. Can't hide the bathroom. So I'm going to change things up a little bit. As you guys know, 
Usually I do all the other bedrooms and then come down to the master or the main bedroom. I still do it that way, but I'm also going to do some this way where we just come into the main bedroom right away since we're right here. That way we kind of change things up, keep it fresh, keeps you guys on your toes wondering which way I'm going to go. <laughs> and speaking of keeping people on their toes, when am I going to wave to Raiden? <laughs> The main bathroom or the guest bathroom? And am I going to get all goofy? Or am I just going to go, hey, Raiden? <laughs> uh, I, think, I think the heat's getting to me. <laughs> Not really. By the way, now that I'm done being goofy with the, in the mirrors here, This bathroom looks really exceptional. And we've even got a vanity area over here. And our toilet, water closet, with some linen cabinets in here or storage cabinets. In our closet, yes it is off the bathroom, but this is an exceptionally sized closet. And then, we can't forget to take a look at the built-in here. And now we've got to come over to the shower, but first you've got your bench for sitting down and drying off, getting your shoes on, whatever you do on the bench right there, whether it just be sitting and relaxing. Now, no bench in your shower, but you've got the really big rainhead shower. Tile goes most of the way to the ceiling. And standing underneath this shower head, I can barely reach the thing. <laughs> like I almost have to have my arms stretched out completely to reach it. So it is a really tall shower head. Oh, we got more cabinets here. I didn't even show you these. All right, because we haven't got to the kitchen yet. We're already eight minutes into this thing. So microwave is built into your center island. Stack of drawers on this end, a couple more drawers down below. So you have lots of drawers in here. Some metal shelving. Really nice backsplash. It's kind of a different color of gray that they went with on all your outer cabinets. And these have all stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Now I have seen where you can mix up the appliances. They've got a Mana and Whirlpool that you can choose from. Of course, the other brands too. But the previous home that I filmed had both a Mana and Whirlpool. And look at that huge window and both ends open up. Told you you had a great big walk-in pantry here. 
Lots of storage space in here. Show you these cabinets and we'll swing around and get the dining room. Nice light fixture. They are cords. It just, they were, you can see that they're all wavy. I was, thought it was metal with, and then the wires running down, but those are actual, that's the actual wires running down to each one of those lights. But I tell you what, whoever decorated this, look at the vibrance of that. The way the light just kind of reflects off of that. It looks really good. Hopefully the camera is picking it up the way I'm seeing it. And this is going to be your utility room slash back door with the desk right here. So with the desk and then some cabinets up above. We got a ton of room for freezer, uh, chest freezer, stand-up freezer, the sink, and then your washer and dryer. Like, I, you know, I've never seen a laundry room staged like this before with all your soaps and things like that, your hangers and. And it looks like somebody actually lives here. Outside of the fact there's no washer and dryer. Now let's come down the hall. Your bathroom is at the very end of the home, so we'll come to this bedroom first. Now I have filmed homes in the past where they put the water heater in kind of an awkward position and then they usually end up putting the access panel to it on the outside. Now maybe if this was my home, I would probably do something different. Maybe go without that desk or something else. Make the access panel to the water heater where that desk was that we just looked at. Because unfortunately, there is your water heater access. It just, I saw that in, and I had to go back around and look to see why they put it there versus some other kind of access. Other than that, there is Nothing else that I could see that you would want to change in this home. As you can see, all the vents are in the ceilings and a really nice crown molding. Now this room has a nice big walk-in closet. So now we're going to finish up with the guest bathroom instead of the main bathroom.
And this is the one piece shower tub combo. And I think y'all should go down there and leave me a comment letting me know what you think of the home. And I don't care if it's a one-piece comment or a two-piece comment or even, or more. You can leave as many comments as you like or however many pieces you want. Just leave me a comment letting me know what you think. And while you're down there, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notification bells. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And uh, I want to say thanks for watching, and I will be back shortly with some price information. All right, so what did you think of the Belterra? Now, there's many versions of this home. Like I said, it's part of their Fiesta series by Palm Harbor. As you saw in that little clip there, there's uh, multiple different floor plans. So if you go back to that clip, we're in the top left-hand corner. That was the one we were, top left-hand corner. There we go. That's the one that we were filming. Of course, I got the floor plan at the beginning also. But anyway, <laughs> so quick lesson of the day. If you got kids or if you don't live alone, you can't always assume that things are going to be left the way you left them. It's hard to see on camera here, but this side is really short compared to this. In fact, the whole thing is shorter than normal. Went to go trim the beard today and uh, come to find out Raiden was playing with the trimmer and had it set really short. So this is super short compared to this, and the whole thing is shorter because it's trying to get it to blend in a little better. <clears throat> so lesson of the day, don't assume things are the way you left them. <laughs> anyway, but we can't assume the price on this one because there is other things that come into factor. You could have extra city fees, county fees, um, delivery fees, um, things like that that can play a part in this, you know, what the price of the home is. But with that said, in June of 2023 at Palm Harbor Homes in Oklahoma City, they've currently got this home on sale for $185,000. Regularly priced was $195,000. So you're getting about a $10,000 discount on the home. So it's a really nice discount. He said, overall, I really like the home. I like the colors. I like the way the floor plan is laid out. Yes, it's an open floor plan, but you know, you've got multiple options. You can get this one clear up to over 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, three bath. So uh, with that said, make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.